Hello everybody and welcome back to Making History of the Second World War and today we are continuing with the USSR game. And in the previous video we were basically just uh, continuing to build up the army and do everything else. We kind of got the money situation under control, still struggling with food quite a bit. But um, I guess the, uh, the, negative, the negative effects of having no food doesn't seem to matter a whole hell of a lot. Um, but yeah, yeah, we're also in the process of sniping, basically sniping medium tanks, and then after that, just kinda, I guess I'll just go through the entire tech tree however I want. But in this, um, in this one I might, might start going after these, um, I did, <laughs> I I had to re-record part two because I, I already recorded one version and I basically puppeted all of Afghanistan and then the British declared war on me. And I was like, okay, well, I guess we're going to be doing that. It's not, not the worst thing in the world. It, at least something will be going on. But uh, I forgot how obnoxious this game can be and uh, the British started landing all up here um i didn't i didn't have the infrastructure to get my artillery or tanks down here to actually push into india so i was just i was like nah you know what i nah, i don't want to i still i still i didn't even save at that point either so i was like you know what i still i still have the save at the end of the first video so i'll just i'll just pretend like that didn't happen and i did but uh but yeah, I, I was able to I was able to go in one turn. I was able to take those three sections of Afghanistan that I wanted to take, but then I was like, well, you know, I might as well puppet the rest, which I usually don't. And uh, it was that that second turn because I took all of Afghanistan in two turns because they basically had no military. But yeah, I stormed I stormed these four in one turn, then these three the next, puppeted them, but then yeah, the UK declared war on me that second turn. But they gave me a warning the first turn, so I could have I could have just pieced out with Afghanistan and that would have never happened. Which is what I usually do. But that's that's probably also because I didn't have Um at that point I think I was still like sixth or seventh in the world for military. I think right now I'm fourth or third so I might be able to get away with it more now than I would have back then but but yeah when the when they started landing up here I just I got pissed off <laughs> I was like I don't want to deal with this but that I have done that before in this game where I just go to war with the allies in like 1937 or 1938 and then everything else kind of goes weird from there like the game i think i think this game is pretty focused on being historical like the 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 first game or um whatever it's called the the war of the world the one released in 2010 that one is pretty if pretty much like a sandbox game i think there's uh there's some loose stuff you can do in the editor about like countries declaring war on each other at certain points, but other than that, it's basically just a big sandbox, whereas this one is much more, you know, they have specific events for specific situations, and there's, it's much more scripted out, all the things that are going to happen. So, like, invading, invading the British in India, and then getting attacked by the Germans is weird but still pretty fun but i need i need if if i'm gonna do the british or fight the allies i'm gonna need to build up my infrastructure a little bit more because that was that was not very good what happened i was i was not ready well okay that was quick yeah uh that was three um, I think there's, there's one more tech in that tree that I want. 
Oh yeah, I wanted yeah, I wanted to what is this? Production engineer close air support. Oh shit, I have to go all the way down here for that? Well, okay, whatever. We're sniping uh medium tanks now. Yeah, anti tank guns. So yeah, that was that was uh, the situation with uh the second the second video. Um, but anyway, at this point, what are we what are we looking at? Oh yeah, I have to I have to upgrade everyone, and now I should probably start. Okay, so we have all these threes. Now we're gonna want to get. A bunch of military academies, because those are the only places that can produce... Or military academies and up can produce infantry, too. Okay, we're still building... Oh, yeah, a bunch of can canneries being built for food and stuff. Um, okay, I'll, I'll wait for all the canneries to be done. Uh, but for all the level threes... We'll finish that last batch of infantry two, then we'll queue up the infantry three, and I guess all these will just continue producing. Okay, we can get military academy there. Uh, they'll just continue to produce infantry two until we get the military academies out. And how how are we doing up here? We're still we're training. We got five left. We're training another guy. I think that might be our last guy we can train of the Yakut uh, ethnicity or nationality, whatever. We got all ones. Okay, maybe is it able to draw MPUs from like multiple and merge them into one? I, I have no idea. Seventy-seven. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be a while until we can upgrade our engineers. Um, I, I'll get a, I'll get all these engineers down there. Uh, I'll set up for the Afghanistan invasion, and then we'll see what happens from there. And all the infantry, I'll probably move them somewhere. Did I? I don't remember if I had the other group of infantry somewhere. They should be. They should be over in the west. But I thought that was two groups of engineers. No, okay, no, we have the infantry here, then the engineers here, okay. Um... Yeah, I'll move, I'll move them up by Finland. Uh, what's our infrastructure looking like here? We got low rails, low rails, then only unpaved roads here. So we're gonna, and... Unpaved roads, so these two regions, we're gonna want to get those up to rails as quickly as possible, you know, in case a war with the British happens anyway. Oh, look at that money, yeah. And we got 
Yeah, one thing a medium rail is done, which is perfect. So we can start the low rails there and the low rails there. So we can get our artillery there. And how are we doing? Fifteen percent on corruption. It's going okay. So it's slowly. It's still going up. Um, I get. I guess I'll see. I'll just leave it on fifteen percent for corruption spending, and we'll see if it just keeps going up and up and up, or if it eventually kind of dies down. But um, I guess I might have to just leave it on twenty percent spending to, to just get it rid of corruption over and over again. I think uh, some of the canneries should be done pretty soon. Oh, yep, yeah, a whole bunch got done. We're only negative 40 food. Yep. Oh, yeah, that was a lot of them. Um, still, still not enough to break even, though. But we got all these being built, so that should be good. But we were we were training stuff here. Now I can queue up a bunch more of those military academies. Uh, do we get it done here? Oh no, that's I don't, I'm producing engineers there anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay, I think oh, I think I got all of the areas that I'm Yeah, those those three I got military academies. I just started there. This one I think I already started. No point to doing that. Engineers, engineers. We're producing a lot more engineers. I sh okay, that's I might actually want to not do that. Have a little bit more focus on infantry. Thirty-two heavy guns. I think everyone... Hold on, all the guys stopped. Yeah, there are a bunch that stopped producing because I told them to. Oh, that, that's why there's such a focus on not infantry. Okay, so... It's Smolensk. Whatever, I guess they're producing infantry now. Ooh, where's... There it is. Okay, where was... Um, uh, Karkov can go back on engineers then. And uh, did I start the military? Yeah, we'll, we'll get a military academy there anyway. How are the Armenians doing? We got... Four MPUs, so they're slowly gaining all those guys back. All right, how, what's our, what's all this stuff looking like? Uh, 1,053, 320. All right. Everything's looking good.
Okay, we got one slaughterhouse done. Oh, um, yeah, these guys are here. We don't need, we don't need much. Move them there, split that in half, and then split these guys in half. And then I could probably I could probably attack. Uh, what's my army? Oh, I still need to upgrade all my infantry. Two to three. Hold on, we are... Okay, we're second now for military. Fifth for research, third for factories. Oh, good. The corruption's starting to go down. So I guess it, yeah, it just takes longer to do its job. Okay, so this is... Yeah, so this this is just the... Fog of war doesn't matter. I'm, I get all the information from this. So we have the most infantry in the world most engineers in the world by far the most power points from land units uh, tanks we have the most tanks in the world um, highest defense highest offense that's looking good um, this our, our uh, rating is going to be lower since I'm only producing one unit but uh, if we go here number one in the world for offensive combat power planes we are Third in the world. Yeah, we're tied now with uh, fighters and light bombers. And then the Navy really doesn't matter at all. So, yeah, now I... If I were to start fucking around with, like, I... Uh, whoa. With Afghanistan and, um... Or like anyone really, maybe, probably not Poland. If I start fucking with Poland, shit, my people might get a little bit pissed. But it might be a really good idea to attack Poland right now. I, I, it might be stupid as shit. It might, I might end up in another situation. But I really, I really want these. I'd have to hit Czechoslovakia too because I have Ukrainians right here, but I really want these uh, Belarusians and Ukrainians from Poland. And I'm going to have to go after Romania eventually. But I guess starting with Afghanistan's a nice, a nice easy start, and I guess I could I could see how they see how the Allies react. To me attacking Afghanistan. If I if I get a warning on the first turn, then I probably am not going to be able to go after Poland. But if, if I attack and just like take the entire thing and I don't get any warning, if I don't get any warning, I might try and puppet Afghanistan like I tried to do <laughs> earlier. But we'll see what happens. Um... Before I do anything, I'm waiting for both these low rail density areas to be done because I need artillery in the area if I'm going to try anything. And I think I could... Yeah, well, I'll start merging them up into groups of 16, so I'll have one set there, one set there. Just to be safe. And I could bring some tanks with too. One thing I... Well, one thing I like, I don't like about this game, but makes total sense, is that you can't upgrade... You can't upgrade equipment, like, uh, art, like tanks and artillery. Or, well, I don't think you can upgrade artillery, but, like, fighters and tanks, you can't upgrade them. Which is, um, it makes sense. Like, you're not gonna, like, completely... At, at that point, you're 
basically just building a whole new tank. You can't like upgrade a tank to an entirely new design. But it's also kind of annoying that you can that you can't you have all these like level one fighters hanging around. I, I'm probably yeah I'm better off just getting rid of those. But yeah, it makes sense why you can't like just upgrade equipment like that. And we've been producing light bombers too the whole time. Where are my uh where are all my fighters? being produced at. Uh, Leningrad, okay, there, Moscow, Moscow. Okay, two fighters at Moscow. Okay, so I don't I don't think I ever produced any fighter ones here. Yeah, they only have one fighter out right now. Okay. But yeah, fighter, fighter two is our, uh, as low as I'll go. Because by the time, like by 1940, Fighter 2s are going to be probably shit. But at least they're not biplanes. Okay, shitload of rails done. Looks like our the money did go up a little bit. Um, I w I don't know how important this stuff over here is gonna be. I definitely want anything anything bordering Japan. I will absolutely want to have a uh, rails there. Yeah, I'll, pro I'll probably queue up those four rails, and then the rest of Mongolia here, the all the desert, I'll probably just leave that. If it gets taken in combat, then it's not the end of the world. Um, I can probably queue up. We can do two more medium rails. But as long as we have any rails at all, that that's fine, because then we can move artillery there and really beat the shit out of things. Whoa, why the hell is this place so high? And it's not even like not even low rails. I guess the uh the the rail infrastructure level doesn't seem to have that much of an effect on taxes and stuff. I guess it has a little bit, but not much. Um and I guess we'll upgrade that. What are we looking at here? There's gonna be a lot of two fighter twos, eight light bomber twos. All right. So right now we're pretty much waiting on uh, those two those two regions in Central Asia to get low rails, just to preempt any freaky shit that might happen <laughs> with the UK. Every, every once in a while, there's a region that converts to atheism, which is like the only, for, for the USSR, that's the only, yeah, look at this, 0% bonus for religion, Jesus. I think one, one time, I think I got um, this region to convert to atheism, which still didn't mean jack shit, but it was better, what the fuck? How, how long has this been at? Oh, oh, so yeah, there, it has to have two MPUs in the area. Yeah, I can't, I can't, it, yeah, I can't pull from anywhere else. This has been like staying at one for like forever now, because it's basically one MPU for each one of these regions.
Okay, well, we've maxed out the Yakut. Or what we can field of the Yakut. Yeah, we'll just cancel that. And uh, 158,000. Yeah, so we need we need like another 42,000 before we can get two MPUs here, and uh, that's gonna take some time. That's gonna take quite a bit of time. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, how uh, we got? Oh, we have these. Oh. Okay, yeah, get rid of all this. This all just biplanes and garbage. But six six guns of heavy artillery d over here. That's that's uh, pretty good. And Japan isn't gonna attack me for quite a while, so. Um, I think ninety one negative ninety one food. I think I'll. Uh, Get a bunch of slaughterhouse ones, which I think I think they're they get pumped out quicker than canneries anyway. But hopefully we can completely deal with this food situation for a long time. I think we have we have like 19 Mongolian MPUs I think. We should have plenty, right, to build two slaughterhouses. We have 11. Okay, yeah, that's fine. And Turkmen and Kazakh. Yeah, I should Yeah, I'll probably we'll do the uh Fuck it, we'll do all of them. Even even those guys should have enough. Uh, the Armenians, they had they had yeah. I think it only requires one. So and the Yakut, yeah, we can do Yakut because I can't train anything else, so I might as well put in factories or something. But after, after all that's done, we should have plenty of food for quite some time. And you. Okay. Just engineers and heavy guns. And yeah, we're just waiting on that. We're waiting on those rails.
but yeah, we don't. I don't have to. I don't have to touch the resource, the resource tab at all, because we're doing just fine with coal, metal. Pretty close with oil, but. But as long as I just kind of keep things as they are, don't really have to worry about those resources. But I think. Oh, China and Japan are going at it. I could I could start expanding output of resources, which is going to increase my um, uh, maintenance cost. But if I have if I have I think medium rails, or well, I guess low rails or medium rails, the um, the resources I get are pretty good. Or the taxes. Yeah, taxes per unit. Of, oh, not medium. Taxes per output of coal and metal with medium rails is four, four to one, basically. So that actually, that that actually be probably be worth it. So I think I'll start, I'll start expanding output of resources and stuff. Um, if it if it's above ten. I'll start expanding output. If it's not, I'll do prospecting and then we'll wait till it's at least 10. But that should help me with money. Seems like every... Um, every one maintenance is going to get me four back, at least for coal and metal. Uh, oil... Okay, so oil just takes longer, so it's the exact same. All right, so that that should be a pretty good source of money. As, as just as long as I build them in uh, m uh, medium rail or higher. I mean, even even low rails, it's still two to one, but that would be a bit. Holy sh! Oh, that pro corruption probably got cut because it finally went down to zero. Or a bunch of farms got done. Holy shit. Ah, oh, mechanized farming. Okay. So it was, it was the farms. So I think mechanized farming two got done here. 0.59 per turn. Food infrastructure, 15%. Max of 64, okay. Well, we're making a hell of a lot from taxes. Like, uh, we'll queue up, get all these maxed out. It's gonna take a long time, but might as well. And at this point, I can pretty comfortably queue up a lot of farms. Um, everything else. Oh, we got a bunch of subsistence stuff that I want to not be subsistence. Oops, nope. Okay. Now anyway, I guess we'll see. We'll see how much more food I get next turn once. Those farms compute, I think that's how it works, with the uh, infrastructure f farms type stuff. Ooh, negative 15. So once we get those buildings done, 
That should absolutely fix the problem. Oh, negative one. Yeah, so there's there's like there's something else going on that makes the food fluctuate other than just production, which I think is the. Uh, it must be something with the wind. That's the only thing that I think changes, kind of randomly. That must affect food production or something, or maybe it's random. I don't know. Uh, what was this? Synth synthetic chemistry. I think we're we're almost there. We need uh, yeah, industrial warfare. What does this require? Applied physics, advanced ballistics. Oh shit! I didn't need this. I should have done that. All right, whatever. Well, I guess we'll do that after industrial warfare. Well, we almost got the food situation handled. Oh, okay, we have it handled. Eighty three turns into the game, we got our food situation ha handled. So these guys, what's going on here? Are they still... Nationalist state, oh. Oh, they're at war with, oh, oh, hold on. Since I annexed my puppet right here, I have three of these nationality groups. Oh, I could, I could go for this too, right here. Pick up that Mongolian nationality. Yeah, I could, okay, I could just like kind of swoop in here. Probably not gonna need any artillery for that. That should be, yeah, all that should be plenty. Uh, it's this area right here. Are we still producing? Yeah, we're still producing infantry too. Yeah, we're waiting for the uh, stuff to be done. But yeah, they're they're at war with China, and they have their own like little puppet in Tibet. So, wait, did they just go green, or did that is that the loading screen? Oh, something happened. Kingdom of China. Did they just? National State of China was founded. What the? K 
King Kingdom of China, National Enemies, Chinese Empire. What the fuck is going on here? Okay, Kingdom of China. So what the hell happened with the whole, like, Tibet thing? What the fuck? Okay, so I guess it's a similar situation now. They, I don't know what the hell is happening here, but... <laughs> uh, I'll try and swoop in here, take those three states in, like, one turn. And then, uh... Hopefully, China's smart enough to just peace out. Um... Stop that. We'll just you'll we'll just go right to infantry three. Lose a couple turns of production, but I don't really care. Oh shit. We need to be Have those guys go to Bryansk every time. Wait, what? Oh wait. Oh no, the the thing the I believe the order resets every time you upgrade the building there, I think. Okay, infantry two there, infantry two there. Wait, cheated didn't finish its thing? Did it? Barracks. Oh. I must have been building something else there. And then we are yeah, we should be working on an academy right there. Oh, food went down to plus... Yeah, well, see, what the hell happens? We're down to plus 48 now. Almost got cut in half from last turn. Something else is going on in the background with food. Uh, maybe... Maybe it's the, uh... The army's consuming the food... Maybe that, uh, yeah, it went down to 40, and then it went up to 43. But as long as we're uh, positive, that's fine. There's more stuff going on here. Just as long as this China... Okay, they're at war. With these guys and the Republic of China. Okay, we're almost ready. We'll send... These guys in there, these guys in there, and then we'll take this. Then we'll peace out, and uh, hopefully we'll peace out. We got our rails done, so if anything really bad happens, I'll be able to at least use my artillery in the area. And we can get another. Uh, for this, actually, I think I'll go for whatever's the highest. Uh, so we have really high reserves in here. Actually, no, I'll go for output. What's the highest output? So this is the highest output with low rails, so I'll upgrade that immediately. And I'll start prospecting there so that when we're done with those medium rails, hopefully we can pump out a bunch of uh, or increased output and that will make me a lot of money. Or at least a decent amount. Okay, let's save, just in case.
I don't want another situation like uh, the whole UK thing in Afghanistan. All right, let's see what happens. Three hundred and fifty. They have zero military points. Okay, so I should be able to just like walk in, and then peace out. But yeah, I don't. I don't want the rest. I just want the. I just want my nationalities. There we go. Took all three. Hopefully nobody gets pissed off. Um, I don't know if that's in the British sphere of influence, but even if it is, we should be able to get away with one turn of pissing them off. Okay, we didn't get a warning. That's good. Alright, and let's go offer peace. Uh, uh, demand concessions. Borders remain as it. Are you fucking serious? Okay, well, that, that's fine then. We didn't get the warning. I don't really care. Um, really? Are you dumb or something? You really can't real- you can't, like... Don't exactly have anything to bargain with, bro. I guess I could I could just like take the rest of the country and uh, then just release it. <laughs> um, okay. What the hell is this? Republic of Tibet. Oh, that was what the fuck. They're at war with. The, yeah, this is a shit show over here, man. Um. So there's like, there's no, there's nothing here. It's just, it's just territory. There's no cities or anything. Okay, I guess. We'll try and take all this before anyone gets mad or anything. Oh, yeah, that's right, we got these done. Um, yeah, cancel that. And we got done at Kharkov. Um, yeah, those are engineers, though. Well, I guess we get a little bit more land. Looks like there's, there's what is this, oil or metal? Oil, coal, coal, okay. Well, at least we get some resources. I guess I'll hold on to this territory. We have oil and coal right there. Got some coal there. All right. If they're not gonna like surrender, then I guess I'll just take it. Uh oh, Romania, Persia, Japan, 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 interference in sphere of interest, yeah, they're not happy about that, but no warning, 
These guys are, yeah, they're just... That should be the last territory. I guess I guess we'll just annex it all. All right. Actually, I think I think I could just give I'll give this back to China, the Republic of China to I guess be to just be nice to them, I guess. Maybe they'll like me a little bit more. Oh no, I can give them the communist Oh, I can give all this stuff to communist China. Yeah, that would be that's a good idea. I'll keep the Mongolian stuff, all the Is that the 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 Uyghurs, the however you pronounce that, those nationalities. I'll keep the Mongolians and those other guys. And I'll give this whole little strip of territory I just took to the uh, Soviet, Chinese Soviet Republic, whatever it's called. And, yeah. Okay, we got some gold from it. How much do they have here? They got 14. Oh, it's only militia. All right, well, let's help these guys out. Um, proposed territorial transfer. I will give them... Oh, boy, I have to find the actual names here. King Yang. I should have... Where the hell is it? Oh. That's one of them. Which one is it? Is it right here? Okay, it's that one right there. I should be able to find all of them if I just sort it like that. Here we go. Yes, I will give them all of that. And you can do whatever the hell you want with it. And now I have that little Mongolian territory and all of this. And now all that's left really over here is just this Mongolian shit, which is going to need to be a war with Japan. Are there already rails here? Oh, there's nothing there. Oh, but there's stuff in the next territory over. Okay, I think, what do we have? 55 minutes? Yeah, I think we'll call it here. Uh, well, after I set up or get all these guys moving. So I'd say that went pretty well. Um, took a little bit of territory. I guess we can, we can see our, uh, See what our MPUs are looking like for these guys. They are up to six. I think they went from four to six. And then Mongolians went up from 11 to 12. So we picked up like one MPU for every territory. Oh, there's two here. One. Well, okay, they're both at 175,000. So it's not going to be crazy long until they're able to get two MPUs max there. What is this? That's oh geez. It's better than the it's better than the Yakut situation. All these yeah, all these are like 170,000, so they should all get up to two relatively soon. So the the entire MPU rate of those guys could double very quickly once they 
get to the okay 261,000 39,000 100,000 75,000 68 64 oof 140 100,000 100,000 okay so the, the fucking the Uyghurs over here are going to be in a better position than the Mongolians they got all five of these are going to be up to 200,000 relatively quickly or relatively soon but that will uh, be it for this I guess we'll, I'll probably try and go after Persia and Afghanistan next um, we'll see how the British respond to Afghanistan and I think the French get pissed off if you hit Persia but we'll we'll see no one no one gave me any warnings for the whole China thing but that seemed to be Japan's fear so I don't know if they give warnings or or they're just too afraid of me at this point uh, okay we're first second in the world overall first for military fourth for research which is continuing to go up uh, uh, I'm looking for the military looking for our world forces look at that over double the nearest competitor it's because of all those fucking tanks then this looks like pulling ahead with those 57 that's a lot how are we doing here we are third still pretty a pretty oh japan overtook germany germany was number one i think why Air Force offense. So it's a pretty much the same. It's pretty much the same for either. Why are, does Japan just have better stuff? Are the are their fighters and planes just better than everyone else's? They're they have a lot fewer fighters than Germany, but but as long I guess, as long as I'm you know in the top I guess you know five or six. In terms of the Air Force, that should be fine. But, yeah, that will be it. So, if you made it here, thank you for watching. If you watch any of my other stuff, thank you for watching that as well. If you want to support the channel, you can hit the join button on the homepage or the link in the description. And I will see you in whatever I decide to do next time. So, thank you for watching.